This is the tale on how I put the moon in Terraria. It's a tale of courage. A tale of trying and never giving up. A tale of determination. A tale of triumph. Here, as I use the celestial city to beat the Woken, then I used all of my might to defeat it. The first time I was unsuccessful, but that inspired me to push forward. Day after day after day, I tried to beat the Midward, nothing worked. But then, that faded day, that faded day, I am victorious against the Midward. I jumped out. Used my sword rupture and defeated it. Bam! Then again, the beast was slain. I have conquered the beast. Conquered, conquered. I have won. The Moon Lord is no more. I use weapons like my Stardust Dragon Solo Rock Shin. They break and more. I sent up from a chip beginning tutorial. Now, Green Team, behold my latest creation, the Solar Coaster. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this is the setup that I used to fight the Moon Lord and to use minecarts and other healing capabilities. Here's the loot that you can get from Moon Lord. You can get Illuminite, Star Ass, Meow Mirror, Terrarian, Last Prism, Portal Gun, and a Relic in Master Mode difficulty. Specifically, we're keeping an eye on Illuminite, which you can craft a variety of useful things. The Solar Flare Armor for Melee users. And no, not this Melee. The Vortex Armor for Range users. The Nebula Armor for Magic users. The Stardust Armor for Summoners. 